Here's the driveway. Okay, I'm going in. This is the door on the back side. There's a refrigerator and a microwave. It's a sub zero refrigerator. I wonder if there's still stuff in here. A little bit. Whew. Coming right into the kitchen. The kitchen is separate from the rest of the area. It looks really cool. There's um, this cool kind of candelabra thing. There, it looks like it's been updated with can lights in the ceiling. It has really cool cabinets and really cool um, drawer hardware. I like these old poles. Everything is still in here. It says it comes unfurnished. Um, these things might easily, very well go away. But um, I want to say, I don't know, I'll do some measurements, but Kitchen has granite countertops, a nice deep stainless sink. I'd be happy cooking in here. It's a wolf range. Hardwood floors. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the right here. Narrow hallway. It's cute. It's old Tahoe. It's so cool. Oh my god. So there's oak floors. I see um, forced air heater vents on the floor. So it has heat other than just the fireplace. So it's been updated with as far as heating goes. There's like hand hewn beams above in a cool pattern. Cool um, fireplace. I like the furnishings. I like that little wagon there. It has a lot of windows. The windows all look like they're single pane windows, but they have um, beautiful old hardware. I'm sure it's the original hardware from the 30s when this place was built. Um, so it just opens right up. That's really cool. Um, here's the door out onto the the deck, you know, simple but very classy and classic, very cool. Opens right up onto the deck, the lake is right there. Okay, let's go explore this. This is a cool place. Oh my god. Okay, so now I'm going to go back down the hallway. Yeah, they're sheetrock. These walls are sheetrock. They're all updated. Formal dining room. The window isn't open over there, but that would be a lake view. I mean, the shutters aren't open. But um, there's a cool dining table in here. Cool old chandelier. Up. View out to the patio right out there. But all the walls in here, two of the walls are stone. And, you know, this has the old hardware that's the crystal knob. But a um, little closet in there. 
vacuum cleaner. So as far as um, the downstairs goes, this is the first bedroom. It has two twin beds. light on there but um, you know it's nicely decorated the way it is the colors just look the colors look good okay now I'm gonna go down and there's a bathroom right here so this looks like it's the one bathroom that's downstairs there's a, a porcelain tub and shower head so it uses a shower curtain pedestal sink everything's so cute this door right here goes to the outside so I guess if you're out on the beach and you want to come in and go to the bathroom this is where you go and there's a toilet here and then this is the, um, now we're going into the second bedroom downstairs. So, um, okay. Wow, it's beautiful. Just laying in bed and looking out at the lake there. Incredible. Okay, so now I'm going to go back out into the hallway. So on this main floor, there's there's the kitchen right there, the living room down there, formal dining room there, bedroom with the double bed on the lakeside, a bathroom, and another bedroom with the twin beds in it. So to go back upstairs, I'm going to go down the hallway. Here's the staircase. Oak. Oh. Let me go up stairs. And what do we have up here? Two more bedrooms and a bathroom, it looks like. So here's, I guess this would be considered the master bedroom. Has an alcove there. You can see the lake right out there. And I'll back up so you can see the closet on each side of the bed. Laying in bed, you would just look out at the lake right there. There is not an ensuite bathroom for this master. It's shared with another bedroom upstairs. So here is the bathroom. It's beautiful. One sink. Looks pretty, you know, it's pretty spacious. If you're in the bathtub, taking a bath in here. It's a jetted tub. It looks really nice. You look right out. This is the view from sitting in the bathtub. I don't know if you, but you can just see the lake through the trees there. It's gorgeous. Stone floors in the bath room. Uh, this cool old vanity, but it has a new granite top on it. Okay, leaving the bathroom. Now we are coming into the second, oh, I guess it is, this, this, maybe this is the master. There's another bathroom up here. So this is the second bathroom upstairs. Ooh, Ooh nice. So there's one sink in this um, on this countertop, a lot of storage underneath. This one doesn't have a tub, it has a pretty big shower though, it looks like the kind you would put a rod across. But it has all granite and the, um, all granite on the walls in the shower. It's very classy and nice. So this bathroom, the second bathroom upstairs, is in the bedroom with this what is either a double or a queen bed it's but it's not a king inside this uh, fourth bedroom but I guess this is the only official ensuite bathroom 
the other bathroom that we were in upstairs, you have to come into the hallway, but I guess, you know, you would be the only people using it. I don't know, there might be a way to make a door directly into this bathroom from what I would consider being the master bedroom. You might be able to do that, because there is a wall there, right? Looks like you could do that. You'd have to eliminate a little bit of closet space, but I think you could do it. Anyhow, that is it. And then there's a little closet up here. Linen closet. Packed full of linens. Very cool. It's a view down the stairway. Down into the living room.